Hey kids, I'm Maria Lee, First Lady of Tennessee, and I'm excited to get to share a story with you for Ag Literacy Week. The story I'm gonna read is called Right This Very Minute, a table to farm book about food and farming. It was written by a farmer herself named Liesl Detlefson. One thing I love about this is the pictures and the vibrancy of the colors in these pictures, so I hope you enjoy it as well. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. Right this very minute, in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice that you drink in the morning. Right this very minute, in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. Right this very minute, in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with a new tubing system to carry maple sap to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you pour on your pancakes. What's that you say? You'd like a snack? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here at your hands. There's all these nuts and cranberries and raisins in this snack mix. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing, all so the cranberries can be part of your trail mix. Right this very minute, on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much to water these sensitive plants. This cranberry marsh is probably up somewhere in Wisconsin, and then this peanut farm is somewhere, maybe perhaps in Georgia. What's that you say? It's time for lunch? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice every day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's a healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. You've got potatoes and broccoli and a hamburger and a salad. Let's find out where all that came from. Right this very minute, a cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes her calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to new pastures or feed yards before they're harvested for the beef that will be made into hamburgers. And this is something particularly interesting to me because I live on a cattle farm as well. Right this very minute, a farmer plans a crop rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables like the potato you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at local farmers markets. 
Before lettuce and tomatoes ever get tossed in the salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say? You'd like dessert? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer, and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. Cream and strawberries. Right this very minute, a grower checks weather forecast in a family owned strawberry patch while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect eggs that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plant a garden right in your own community. Right this very minute, you and your friends and family and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you'll enjoy healthy snacks and meals made of fruits and vegetables you harvested yourself. Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their families and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere, right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank for your delicious food. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. And that is the end of the story. I hope you've learned something about where your food comes from and I hope you have something to share with your family or friends either at the lunch table today or tonight around the dinner table. Have a good day.